What's up beautiful people and welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I'm actually filming this intro right now because I accidentally deleted my first intro. And the only reason that I explain that is because you're gonna see me in a different outfit in a couple seconds, so. Anyways, basically we're getting ready to go to a pumpkin fest in Scottsdale and um, it was super exciting, super fun, very cute for the kids, so I'll see you guys there. And before we head out, I just thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. So you may notice this outfit from my recent video, which was one shirt, 10 ways. And um, this is my H&M white button up shirt. This is a shorter version than the one that I used in the video and I'm wearing my Desi Backtrack sunglasses, one of my faves. These are faux suede um, leggings from Zara and then I'm wearing my nude boots from Zara too. And then I just threw on my little nude bag that I got from Zara during the summer. I will link the video where I showed this bag in case you guys want to see it or you haven't seen it yet, but I just felt like it was giving, you know, fall tones, fall vibes. So. Yeah, we're gonna head out right now and I'll see you guys there. So we're at the Pumpkin Fest, which is at the Fairmont Princess in Scottsdale. Super cute. Apple Cider Orchard, or is it Cider Orchard? So cute. I know. Buddy. Okay. Don't breathe in it. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> so it's looking like a vibe so far. It's actually really cute. And that apple cider orchard thing is so cute. Uh -huh. I can't wait to go Shut get me. one of those apple ciders. Right? Yep. And some almonds. What's going on behind me? Who is that? Who is that? He's getting bigger and bigger. Don't be in your sleep tonight. Hey, 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 Okay. <laughs> the car always dancing somewhere. This is a cute little garden. Kettle corn? Oh, look at the little look at the truck over there with Oh, she's putting she's putting ice cream on it. Oh my gosh! Ooh, chocolate sauce. That's caramel. Caramel? Yes. That's oh my so goodness. That's for you? Yes. Obviously. Canary got a pie. I'm so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Can I? You like it so far? Yeah, I do. Wow.
was a good, that was a good boat. So the kids are getting ready to go on the rides right now. We're just chilling on the sidelines. We get a break. We're hot. It's like in the high 80s. And um, yeah, here we are. Sweating. It's okay though. Um, but this place is actually so cute. And the, the girl where we got the pie said that they're, they do something like really big for Christmas and stuff like that. So I definitely think that we should come back for the Christmas thing. Because I'm sure that it's going to be like all decked out and be super fun. And I think I want to go get one of those apple ciders. I want some wine. They do have liquor. They do have wine. So they made it adult friendly. I'm thinking about wine right now. Me too. There they go. So Canary and I are going on the, what is it called, bird cages? I don't know. I think it's called bird cages, like in, uh, at the boardwalk in Santa Cruz. Oh yeah, and also in Six Flags and uh, Great America. I love this ride, it's one of my favorites. super cute juice box things. This is a caramel apple cider, but it's like a spiked cider. So it has um, some kind of ale or something in it. I don't know, but I'm about to try it. It looks really good. Pumpkin patch. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> If you want, if you like it crispy like that. <laughs> Where's the gingerbread? How do I get on fire? So should I give you like a tiny piece of chocolate? No. Or <laughs> Are you sure? I don't think you really need that much chocolate. No, that's the point. Burn, burn. Is it that good? It's actually really good. Are you? Is that the guy you're gonna be, buddy? No. No? No! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> squid game? Oh, oh yeah, you wanna be Squid Game? What? Dakari wants to be you. the guy from Squid Game. What is it? Can I speak to your manager? He's <laughs> a That's up to him, I wanna no. see what he does. <laughs> Why? Do it! He's already talking! <laughs> Go step up to him. He's already talking! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you looking at? Turtle mouth! <laughs> 
Is that what you're gonna be? No. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. We're gonna, we have to get like a fashion show when we get home, okay? So I just got back from the mail room and I had a couple boxes from Zara just come in and I thought that I would unbox them with you guys because let's be honest, we all love a good Zara unboxing, okay? So I have two boxes here. So let's just see what we got. Okay. So this one I just threw in because there's a funny story with this. I actually received this smaller box yesterday and it was missing this. So I contacted Zara and I was like, hey, I got my shipment. It says that all pieces were delivered and this was missing. Well, it showed up today in my mail room in a separate bag and they already refunded it. I mean, so. But um, anyways, it is this faux suede over shirt. It's kind of a shacket, but it's not quite as oversized as a normal shacket would be. So it's just a little bit more fitted. And for that reason, I got it in a large, but I think it's adorable. It's the same exact color and faux suede as the faux suede leggings that I showed you guys in my last Zara haul. I got it in a large and it was $49.90. Actually, it was free 99 Next, I got these pants that are kind of like a staple at Zara. They always have this style pant. So I'm sure that you've seen these on the website. They're just a high-waisted um, trouser. And I got them in this mustardy, well, to be honest, online it looked a little bit more mustard than it's showing up in person. On camera, it looks brown, but they are a sort of a browny mustardy color, which I'm actually loving. I was expecting them to be more yellow. You can't really get an, a real idea for the color in this lighting, but anyways, I got these in a medium because I tried them on in store in a large and there was way too much of a gap. So surprise, surprise, Zara got my size right with these. I mean, who would have thought? Okay, the next thing I got are these menswear slacks and they're in this olive green or they call it khaki online. And I actually already ordered these online, but I ordered them in a large and I just wasn't sure about the fit. So I decided to order them in a medium just to compare, um, but I do love them. They're very relaxed fit. They're supposed to be kind of baggy and relaxed, which I thought was a nice switch up, but you will see these in a Zara pants haul that I have coming up. Okay, the next thing that I got are these beautiful real leather loafers. And I decided to exchange them for the other ones that I had because these are just really good quality. And look at the buckle. It's the details for me, like I, I'm obsessed with details and the gold on this was just the right gold. It looks more expensive. It's not like a silvery gold that you see in a lot of other hardware. So these are more like a dressy loafer. They're not like a chunky, casual kind of a loafer. So I wanna have one of each, but these are gonna be my dressy ones and I love them, they're so soft. Oh, and I did size up and get a nine in these. I have you know, a little room here in the toe area, but they are, they're quite narrow. So if I would have stayed true to size, they would have been too tight. So I'm glad that I sized up in those. And my favorite, the ones I've been wanting to get my hands on are these gorgeous brown jeans. I was praying and praying that they would fit. Girl, they fit. I'm so excited. They got my size right. <sighs> Like, when does that ever happen with Zara? Almost never. I size down and they actually fit perfectly. So I'm gonna include these in my pants haul for sure. Okay, now getting into the next box, I got this black stretch linen bodysuit. So this is what it looks like. It has a little ring detail here, cutouts on the side. It comes pretty low and it's swore. It's a thong. Yeah, I'd say it's a thong bodysuit. It zips on or right here. It zips on the top part and the bottom part, which is great. I got this because I thought that it would be really cute with the menswear khaki slacks that I showed you, and it's a vibe. I will show you guys that in my haul. 
Next, I got this blue textured weaved skirt, which is super cute. It has these black and gold buttons, and then it has a little split seam in the front here. It's more of like A-line. It's definitely a mini skirt, but it's adorable. And then I got these leggings in this plaid pattern. It's black and white plaid. They zip on the side, and yes, girl, again, I got them in a medium, okay? And they are so stretchy. They look tiny, but they fit perfectly. The large was too big and too gappy, so I got these in the medium. And then last but not least, I got these matching um, legging and top set to go under my faux suede jacket. Really a good staple. And I got these both in a medium large because they only come medium large or small, extra small. So here I am about to start another vlog. So I might as well end this vlog here. And I thought I would let you guys know that the next video that you're gonna be seeing is a Zara haul. It's all about Zara pants and trousers. So you kind of saw a little bit of an unboxing for some of those items, but there's definitely gonna be more items in that. I think I have like 13 different pairs of pants to show you guys in that video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Also, I wanted to mention to you guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do update you guys in real time on Instagram and I'm usually pretty active on my stories. So if you want like updates on upcoming videos or an update on maybe like me posting a video make sure you're following me on Instagram because I do share all of that information there so it's just kind of like so you can keep up to date with what's going on I guess but um, anyways I will see you guys in the next video bye